and girls, this is Larry, UBRailroad.com. Check me out. Today is March 14th. It's been a while, but I've been kind of busy. Right there is my 160,000 gallon storage tank that I made for my oil facility. This was the most complex thing I have ever made. It took me almost six weeks to make this. I had to drill all the holes, then set all the pins in for the rivets. And this is the second one I did. And I started over three times on this one. I just could not get my lines to match up to save my soul. I don't know what it is. But let me walk around and show you what I did. I ended up adding six inches to this side of the railroad so that I could get in all my oil and get in my water and my coal tower. So let's walk around to this and I'll show it to you. As you can kind of see how complex it is with all the rivets and all of the tie wires and everything in there. I ended up making the uh, I-beams out of wood and then uh, come over here and you can kind of see what the top looks like. It's got two vent tubes and an entry point. And then it's got the fill tube that comes over from the oil derrick. It's pumping and you can see there's a little oil spill there. There's also a little oil spill down there. But over here we got Orville and Hank on cleanup duty trying to clean up that oil mess. But this right here is the filling station for the cars. It's operated by a steam engine that turns this motor that pumps oil from here out to the outlet tube to fill the tank. And then this is the water tower for it. And then, of course, they get their scraps from the sawmill across the track. But as we go down the road, you can kind of see what I got going here. I got my flaming tower. I got my derrick pumping. And as we go down a little further, I thought, well, this side needs a water tank. So I built this water tank. And then I thought, if it has a water tank, maybe there should be a coaling tower. So then I put this coaling tower in. Now, in my coaling tower, because I was limited to space, I had to put the elevator shaft off to the side. So that makes mine unique. It's not something everyday run-of-the-mill. And then you can see I got it painted in the uh, UB colors, yellow and black. And I've got my little pigeon, you know, resting comfortably in her nest. And I'll turn and go this way and kind of show you what it looks like this way. If you were on the tracks, this is what you'd see going down to it, okay? Now, the, nice, the bad thing about this is all my nice work is in the front. You can't see it except from the other side. And then you're looking at it from 12 feet away. But anyway, I know it's there and that's all that matters. So anyway... I hope you like this. If you do, leave a like. Uh, if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And if you have any questions, any comments, any critique, uh, critique, please, good or bad, send it to me. I love hearing from you. This is Larry. Over and out.